Hello, my Indonesian friends. We're back with a very different reaction video today. We're going to be taking a look at some Indonesian delicacies, particular foods that you eat. And today we're going to be looking at snake curry. Now, as a British man, we love our curries. We love our Indian curry, Chinese curry, Thai green curry. Um, we even sometimes have been known probably to have a bit of goat curry. But I've never had snake curry. I'm all for trying it. If I was to go to Indonesia, I would happily try some snake curry. When in Rome, you know, do what the Romans do. Anyway, this particular video originally was uploaded by a channel called Travel Thirsty. So all credit to Travel Thirsty for the wonderful video here. I've watched about 10 seconds and you'll see in a minute, they're at a market and they're obviously preparing these snakes to sell to the public. So I won't waffle on anymore. I'm gonna hit the play button and we'll watch this together and we'll see if it shocks me or not because I'm a little bit well, snake, really? But uh yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Right. Yeah. So this is like an Indonesian marketplace. Those snakes. I have actually, when I was younger, had a photograph taken with an 18-foot python around my neck. Very similar looking snakes to these. Of course, it was all done in a safe environment, a bit like a fairground attraction type thing. Look, there's a snake that's been cut open. Now he's cutting it up. I imagine he's going to be pulling the guts out of it. I mean, I'm a meat eater myself. I mean, we eat cows, sheep, chickens, pigs, you know. So, I guess in certain countries, like, snake is normal to eat. It's uh, still meat, isn't it? If you're a meat eater. Die. So if I was starving to death on a desert island, I would eat it, you know. Beautiful skin. Beautiful pattern and colour. I mean that's a, a beast of an animal. No, it, it looks slimy, but it's not. Snakes are not slimy. I mean, as a Westerner, I'm watching this, you know, you kind of think, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> but this is normal. To the Indonesians, you know. I, I watch another travel channel and he's called Harold Boulder. You might have heard of him. And he did a series in Vietnam and he had a cobra, cobra, however you want to pronounce it. And he had to drink the blood of the snake and the green venom, I think, that come out of it that he drank before eating the snake. And they made loads of different dishes. It, I mean, it looked quite nice when it was finished. It's just watching the process. You know, it looks a bit icky. Oh, let's see. Oh, there's the green stuff inside. I think that's what Harold drunk in his video. So yeah, I know they eat snake in Vietnam. So obviously they must also 
like the video says, they eat it in Indonesia as well. Now let me know if this is a special delicacy or it's an everyday dish. Let me know in the comments. I'll be interested to know. Looks like something out of Alien, the movie, like a face hugger, you know? Like a squid. What is all that stuff inside? It looks like eggs or something. Is that eggs? Or is it just its intestines or something? Its stomach? Also, the video is extremely well shot, excellent camera quality, nice production. The actual pink meat. Itself looks a bit like it could be like chicken. It could possibly taste like chicken, I think. Maybe we'll find out. <laughs> What's that brown stuff? Is that is that poo? Is that ex excrement or something? Okay, so he's, he's going to chop it up into small pieces now. And then I guess they then sell it like that to the public. So, there's that liver or something. So he's weighing that up. That's obviously sold as a cut. Poor Mr. Snake. <laughs> Okay, yep, so a man, oh here we go, a man's just purchased this, he's now back at his home, and this is obviously now where we're going to see how the snake curry is made. This gentleman is going to be obviously cooking it for his home. Looks so, like, yeah, he's going to be cutting the skin off. Now, I love the look of snake skin cowboy boots, hats, jackets. Some people frown upon it, but the animal's already dead. If you can get its skin off in one piece, which looks like he's doing, and you can make use of that skin by putting it on a pair of shoes, go for it. <laughs> I'm all for that. So. It's amazing, isn't it, how it's, the skin forms in its scales like it does and the colours that come through. Yep, that is a nice, sharp meat cleaver he's got there. That will take your finger off.
very relaxing watching these food videos, isn't it? It's just chilled. So yeah, I'm normally reacting to Indonesian music. I've done a couple of documentaries about Indonesia. I thought, why not look at the food as well? Might as well celebrate everything that's Indonesian. Seeing as 90% of my subscribers are from Indonesia. So I've got to stick with this formula, you know? Plus I'd like to visit one day. I'd love to, you know, I'd come in, I'd try snake. I'd go to a restaurant and try a piece of snake. Not a problem. I wouldn't eat bugs or insects though. I've seen like in Vietnam, they have like fried larvae and beetles and even scorpion. I, I don't think I could eat that. This is just meat in the end of the day. Man's obviously got chickens as well. So he's obviously got plenty of eggs and chicken when he needs it. Have a bit of snake omelette, be nice. I think that's got bone. Yeah, it must have bone inside it. You wouldn't think snakes have a bone because of the way they move, but they must do. Yeah, it looks like it does. Yeah, very much like chicken. Looks like chicken. type of meat, you know, white meat. Maybe even a bit pork-like, possibly. Friday the 13th, Jason Machete, he's got that. Oh, imagine if he slipped. He'd take his knuckle right off his hand, that would. It's a garlic clove or something. It's a carrot. It's a carrot and I don't know what the first thing was he was chopping up. That's an onion, right? Yeah. I think it's garlic, onion, and carrot. Got small red onion, that. But it's nice and sweet. Is it peppers there as well in the bowl? That's a mortar for a mortar and pestle. I do play Skyrim, so, you know. <laughs> Come into alchemy. See, we've got chili skin there, carrots, the garlic, onion. And I imagine he's gonna grind it all up. What's that? Sugar? Sugar? Yeah. A bit of sugar. It could have been salt or sugar. Way that's coming together, I bet that smells gorgeous. Fusing the flavors in there. That's it. 
get it all out waste not want that oh what's he doing now A celery, see a celery, celery sticks. Okay, Must be celery. Some leaves, hey? Leaves. I know. Sometimes we use bay leaves in curries, but um, I don't think we generally eat a bay leaf. I think it's poisonous, but I don't know what type of leaves they were. Let me know in the comments. Remember, I'm just a simple Westerner <laughs> watching how you guys do your food. So for me, it's fascinating. So whatever guys you can teach me in the comments, then feel free to do so. I'll always respond to your comments. Even if I have to use Google Translate, I will talk back with you in Indonesian. Hopefully the auto subtitles are working correctly and you guys can understand what I'm saying as well. So we've got a lot of greens in there. That could have been a leek back there, like a leek. Vegetable leek. There's tomatoes. Everyone has tomatoes, don't they? Nice juicy tomatoes. Some vegetable oil. Cooking oil or whatever. It's oil. <laughs> I like that sound. I love fried things. <laughs> I mean, one of my favourite foods is Chinese food. I love Chinese food. So it's got a nice big wok there. He's cooking it in. smell that through the uh, screen. See what I'm learning something here. Even if I don't eat snake, we have these ingredients. I could make my own curry after watching this. I'd probably use chicken. In my or a bit of beef is quite nice. Cut very thinly. I know some people are against eating pork, and I respect that. You know, I don't eat it every day, <laughs> but yeah, I do like a little bit of pork. I love lamb. Lamb is beautiful as well. Lamb curry. Snake, <laughs> this is a new one.
Why was that? Yeah, sugar. Is it sugar? Must be. Yeah, it must be sugar. Or it might be a bit of flour. Well, I think it's sugar. A bit of flour just to maybe thicken it up with that sauce. It's good with that knife. Well, cleaver, I should say. Meat cleaver, that is. caramelized. I mean, all these ingredients he's using, I mean, we can get this in the UK, but the snake would be a hard one to get a hold of. I'd probably have to order one online from somewhere. <laughs> this video gets, I don't know, if this video gets 500,000 views or more and 50,000 subs, <laughs> I will order some snake online and I will go live and eat it for you. There's a little deal, little incentive for you. That's the deal though. And I will hold up to my end of the bargain. So subscribe, hit the like if you want to see me do that. If you want to see the Western white man be sick live, <laughs> subscribe. Wait. <coughs> Excuse me. I mean, it's, it's making me quite hungry. Honest. I'd eat that. Absolutely fine. I'd sit down and break bread with this man. Have a cold beer, maybe. Whilst I was there, maybe we could chuck that chicken up as well. And Chuck it in the curry. <laughs> what? Snake and chicken curry. Ah! 
that looks nice. That, that looks nice. Just a meat curry, you know, at the end of the day. Doesn't matter what animal it is. It's just white meat. That it smells gorgeous. Bread with it. Job done. Some sort of bread. I suspect Indonesia has its own style of bread. Very nice. Making a soup? Is that like stock? He's making the soup from those bits? Like a gravy, perhaps he's making? It's just another type of dish. Because those bits of snake there look a little bit gristly. Dig into the monitor and take a bite. Not too sure about the one on the right, but the curry on the left, yeah. I'll, I'll have some of that. Here we go, he's gonna try a bit. Is he? Oh, look, that's the, he's dishing up on his plate. A family would share this. I mean, look at that, that looks lovely. But soft enough, if he can cut through with his fork, that's look at that, it's quite strict. Oh, is that bone? Is that bone? Yeah, so I'd have to be careful eating that with the bone, obviously. But fish has bone, and I eat fish, so you have to be careful. It looks nice, juicy, succulent, very tasty, it looks. The infusion of all the flavours of the herbs that he's put into it. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Good food. Yeah, I think it probably tastes pork, like pork. If you're still watching the video at this point, thank you very much. It's appreciated. Obviously, it's the 
this video that this man made that's keeping you watching because it's interesting, isn't it? Not so much my commentary. I mean, these cooking videos, they're very therapeutic to watch. I said the original video, um, links will be in the description for the guy's channel and his video. He's got millions of views and subs. It's quite an old, a few years old, this particular video, so it's not like I'm stealing his content, you know, it's... This guy's done well out of this video. And there's his chickens or whatever they are. <laughs> They're probably going to eat the scraps. Yeah, I'm not too keen on the look of that dish. That, I don't like the look of those bits of snake. They look a bit like awful. Yeah, the gristle with it and stuff. I mean, is that for the chickens? Well, ah, that's the end of the video. And that, my friends, is an Indonesian snake curry. So let me know your thoughts. Are you Indonesian and do you eat this? And is it nice? Tell me what other animal it tastes like. Am I close by saying it tastes like pork or chicken? Because it looks that type of meat, you know? So. Uh, that was absolutely fascinating. I'd happily try it myself, you know, because when in Rome, you do what the Romans do. So, if I get 500,000 views on this video, right, and like 100k subscribers out of it, I will buy some snake online. I will get it sent here in the UK. I will cook it, follow instructions, and then I will eat it live on a stream for you guys so if you want to if you want to see that hit the like and subscribe thank you very much for watching you all take care and i'll see you in the next video subscribe to my channel if you don't a 64 gun brigantine of warsaw fire cannonballs at your face have a great day